I wear clothes to actively make people think I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> One of the most common questions I get with completely new businesses is, why is your hair like that? <laughs> okay, I've, I've done my best to put them off. Try and turn this one around. <laughs> We're just a couple of business anchors. Welcome to the Business Anchors Podcast. This jingle is slightly too long. This jingle is slightly too long. Welcome to the Business Anchors Podcast, episode 33, the podcast where two business owners talk through the weirder, lesser known elements of what it takes to build a real business. Today, we'll be revealing a secret of how we produce multiple business leads from a single social media post, how we tracked half a million pounds of sales for a client in month one of their online campaign, and we might even tell you how we'd sell your product or service, Ooh. if you're lucky. Sounds Absolutely revolutionise revolutionize your business nice maybe. this is gonna be value packed lloyd i've got a feeling yeah i think it is actually um really looking forward to this episode i think lots of interesting stuff to talk about and i also think there's a couple of things uh that are very simple normally i'm like there's no silver bullet in business you know <laughs> yeah. you don't get stuff from not but i feel like there's a couple of things we're talking about today that's like do quite, that and you'll quite actually... simple things that could just get yeah. your business leads and new customers and stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Cool. It's quite a clickbaity title, but we, we've made a promise to ourselves that we're going to deliver on our clickbait titles because the titles around how we generated a trackable revenue of mm. almost half a million pounds. Well, you say, no, it's not a clickbait title because we, we, we've genuinely done that. But we, yeah, we've, no, no, but you... we, this, we've genuinely done it, but we're, we've... We've strategically used that in, in the, the title, title to, it's interesting. to get you here because mm. that's bloody hell. That's a big number. Yeah. What is Could it all about? Your business. What is? Um, tell me, Lloyd. I'll tell you. Yeah, go on. So, um, and then we can dive into the, the detail of how we did it to yeah. give that value. Yeah. yeah. So this is genuinely a client that we worked with on month one of their uh, social media marketing campaign. Um, finished up a couple of weeks ago. Um, so it's very timely and we work with them to, to genuinely um, bring in half a million pounds of trackable revenue through our campaign in one month um, pretty good right yeah I think so and and it's not even one of those things where it just sounds good we're like yeah they spent a million pounds on ads though so they're losing <laughs> loads of money yeah. um, we we managed to multiply their what they invested in ads by about 14 so really good return for them mm. um and when we when we get these because this is you know we get good results i'm happy to say we get good results for all of our clients but this certainly is on the upper end of mm. we're really proud of this campaign clients super happy and so it's the sort of thing we like to talk about yeah um so hopefully uh, we can learn from what what we've done. Yeah. Others can learn from what we've done and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so that's what it's all about. Yeah. So it was broken down into a few parts, wasn't it? So they, um, it, it was broken down to content production. We produced a, a near mm -hmm. the tail end of last year. I'm trying to remember when we did it. It was September, actually. Was it September? Yeah. So thankfully it was when... Uh, it was sunny a bit. I think, <laughs> I'm trying to think back now. So if you listen to this at a later date, it was September 2020. Uh, remember, remember back then when COVID was happening? <laughs> Hopefully you're listening when it's it's not uh, happening. Um, but it was a time when like pubs were open for beer gardens. You could be with people outside mm. and stuff, I think. I'm trying to remember what it was like in September. Yeah. Um, but thankfully we, we could get a crew of people together and we shot a lot of this campaign outside, which was really nice that time of year. Mm. Um, so uh, a whole load of really creative content we produced yeah. uh, there was loads of I'm trying to think how much we produced but over a period of it was like a four day shoot wasn't it we produced well, so the, much well the main the main shoot for the big awareness part of the campaign which um, actually on the Knowlton YouTube channel and social media um, pages we posted a video with me talking through the awareness part of the mm. campaign so take a look at that if you want an idea of what it was um, that was a four day shoot with a crew of about 21 or something I think um, and and then there was lots of things supporting that so we had shoots in the studio with products um, in, uh, took photos videos lots of different things going on to support the campaign 
So lots of wicked content. And mm -hmm. then we tied that in with a paid social media ad campaign that targeted the right people with the right message at the right time to get them to buy the product. And we, we set up all of the tracking so that we can track someone who's seen this video, clicked on the website, purchased product yeah. or products and how much they've spent. And hmm. yeah, after one month, almost half a million pound of track revenue, yeah. which is... And um, I, think, I think the positive thing about these campaigns as well and, and doing things in this way, obviously this is what our business does, guys. So we, um, we get excited about this stuff. But the positive thing about working on a social media campaign like this is um, that's just the value they got instantly from people buying. But those new customers that we've reached- It's a lifetime value. It's a lifetime it? value. So um, say the average order value was about 40 pounds for each order, which it was. Um, <laughs> you know and we've we've added all those things up it's like oh nearly half a million quid mm. bloody hell that's good but in reality if if you're selling 40 pounds worth of a product to someone if it's not a one-off product where once you've got one you've got one for a lifetime mm. you can you should be able to expect that customer if you've got a good product and a good business and good marketing to come back multiple times in the next few weeks mm. months and years so you know in reality i'm i'm hoping that that is you know maybe two or three million mm. in reality that we've mm. we've produced as income for that, that so, business well i'm trying to think like to, to give value to the listeners wh why did this work because wh i'm trying to think how can uh, what lessons can we learn from this how did it work so well um, i think there's lots that went into it mm. working well but i don't know what are your overall thoughts of why it did do so so well it's it's hard because there's so many things <laughs> so much stuff that went into this to make it work really well mm. but it, the the basic thing thing of it the basic thing of it <laughs> good, Technical. good words lawyer <laughs> um the is that the their products are really good yes uh, as a business they run their business really well they're really clever people they've got a great team and we have the same here marketing and selling their so product team those two things up great product Great product, their great. business is great, our business is great doing their marketing. That's genuinely a match made in heaven. Because yeah. I think a lot of people when they go to uh, marketing agencies like us to work with, you know, you might be listening thinking, wow, they, these guys actually know what they're doing. They've got these great results. They're bringing in all these sales that would change our business. And you might say to us, how many of my products will you sell? Mm. And in reality, um, if you haven't sold any yet, Ever, <laughs> ever, we won't have an art. We we won't even be able to guess for you. Yeah, because it's kind of like, well, hang on, we don't know if anyone even wants your product. Mm. You haven't sold any, so so we don't even know if it's good. Mm. So we can say to you, if it's genuinely good and there's there's a need for it, yeah, we're gonna we can sell loads yeah. of that for you. Here's data. We can build your brand over mm. a period of time. Yeah, but um, whereas, obviously, like I said, this was a very this was at the the really good end of what we mm. do it's a business that we're working with that already is established they've got great products it's mm. not like a nationally known no, uh, brand or anything business. that we'd say their brand name and you'd be like oh yeah mm. i've seen their tv ad mm. they're not at that level at all they're mm. they're they're still a a business that's um you know locally based in kent and there's mm. thousands of businesses like them around but yeah i think that was the the real match made in heaven there it's funny because when if i was to look back when we first started when we had much less experience we probably if, if, if a complete new business that's never sold anything before no proven track record of selling any product mm. or any demand for their product and they said to us how much of our stuff are you going to sell mm. we'd probably just make up a number like mm. uh, uh, hundred mm. whereas now because we've you know we've got the experience mm. we know we've got a track record of mm. you invest this much mm. you know from previous campaigns you can deliver that mm. if 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 you've there's there's evidence there's demand for the product because mm. no matter how good your marketing is you know you can invest millions you won't sell loads of a crap product or you yeah. won't you know yeah. once people find out it's crap mm. you won't get more customers mm. so I mean, the good thing is we, you know, having a new product we haven't sold any, that can still be a massive success. Mm. But, um, you know, that that is a, a big part down to you and your business as yeah. well as um, the marketing side of it. And we, we have, we have looking back, we have worked with completely new businesses um, that that are good. Like yeah. I, I think of a service-based business we work mm -hmm. with, a new offering to, to Ken, and we absolutely smashed it because it was a wicked mm. um, new sort of activity-based yeah. uh, company. Yeah. But yeah, I also think in terms of why it works so well, 
we really, really uh, strategically thought about who is it they're trying to target, mm -hmm. who, who are the likely people to buy this product, and then we, we mapped the content and the ad targeting to reach those exact people. Mm. So it's almost, again, like a match made in heaven, we've got content that's really showing great uh, benefits to their products that we mm. know their audience are gonna like because we're targeting them in the right way, so. Yeah. Right, moving on. Yep. I'm very proud of that campaign, but I think there's something our listeners can learn a lot more from, mm. weirdly, than what we've been talking about. Uh, and this is the thing I was saying, I think very easily, they could get a huge amount from. Mm. Um, and do you want to say what that is, Dan? Do you know what I'm talking about? I think I think I do. Um, it's it, it baffles me how many businesses don't do this, and it's such a simple thing. Like as a business, you're 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 making a promise to your customers, right? Your potential mm -hmm. customers. We've either got this product or this service that's mm -hmm. going to deliver something. It's going to help you solve some kind of problem. But a lot of businesses don't communicate or produce any content that shows evidence of that yeah that 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 literally says look here's someone that looks like you that's brought bought this product that's invested in our service and they've achieved this or they've solved those problems case studies testimonials real examples of people who are happy with your product it's that's one of the types of content that whenever we share results like this campaign or others it, and, and with our clients, whenever we show evidence of case studies, testimonials, customers saying mm. nice things about their product, you know, lo and behold, more people buy them. That's the thing. It's, it's as simple as, like, I was thinking about this, thinking, why, why aren't more people doing this? Because in my head, I'm just thinking from our experience, share good results that you, you have achieved. Mm. And the phone rings with people saying, can I work with you? Yeah. That's, that's our experience. And I was thinking about this, like, this is baffling me like we're just doing this and loads of people are contacting us saying can i work with you because that's yeah. that's really good why isn't everyone, why doing, isn't it? everyone doing this so well firstly i think i've got a question for you dan because yeah. you really push this in our business yeah firstly why do you push us so hard on let's share the results we've got for our customers when other people don't i what's, think what's made i think the honest being completely transparent and honest the on honest answer of why we're doing that a lot now is because we're actually getting really good results now. Mm. When you start out, when you're completely new, the results you achieve aren't are, are kind of matched to your experience. So, you know, when we first started, we were helping get cli clients to get results, but they weren't as impressive as half a million pound track revenue in one month. So I think now my confidence, in, and across the last couple of years, my confidence in our ability to deliver results is through the roof because I, as a sales, the sales arm of our business, I've now got evidence when someone's saying, yeah, yeah, you say you can do that, but prove it. I'm mm. like, all right, here's some global brands we've done it with. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm so confident now that, that that's why I share it. However, mm. starting out, and even there's people probably listening to this thinking, oh, I'm kind of starting out. I've got some good results. Even starting out, it's still important to share those results. Mm. It's all uh, comparable to, you know, what people are paying you as well. Yeah, and I think there's something key I was thinking about around this, and I, I was kind of thinking marketing with proof rather than promises is makes your life so much easier. Yeah. So this is exactly what I'm saying. We do great stuff for customer A, B, and C. Um, potential customer D, E, and F see us talking about that mm. and then go, they've literally done what I want them to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to work with them. Um so yeah marketing with proof rather than promises is a much easier thing however it's hard some i know some of our listeners are people that are starting out in business From maybe scratch. work on their own or in kind of year one or two um we're still early stages because we've only been around five or six years mm. but i think sometimes you actually don't have the proof yet of like mm. You know, if, if you were someone in marketing like we are, you don't have the thing to say, we've sold this many products and we've got this, this brand out customers. to three million of yeah. their potential customers and they're recalling their brand at a rate mm. of blah, blah, blah. You don't have that. But you, I think you can look for the proof in what you've already done. So what can you prove? I think, and some of that can be, okay, I can't, I can't again I'm, I'm going to use marketing as an example because we're in this but i can't say that i've sold a million pounds worth of products for a client but i can say that i've reached 
200,000 of their potential customers with this message. So the next person I could say, Mm. yeah, that level of investment, we Mm. can make sure we get Mm. in front of 200,000 of your potential customers. And that's not, that's not as big a thing to work with but it's something and if you can't get that it's kind of how can I get close to proof well I've got this customer that says I'm brilliant yeah that's that's as close as I can get to proof okay yeah I can't I can't Mm. tell you that I've I'm going to sell all these products Mm. but this guy that's exactly like you is saying I'm brilliant and have really improved his business I think one of the most common business yeah one of the most common questions I get with completely new businesses is why is your hair like that (laughs) no why is your brother such an idiot? That's what they tend to say. Right, okay. So what they say is, um, this is all good and well, you know, you know, trying to share this evidence, but we literally haven't had any customers ever. And I'm looking back to how we did this. Mm. The way you can start to do, get this evidence is, you know, uh, work for free or at a discounted rate. I remember one of the first um, pieces of work we got with a client, which at the time was huge for us, mm. was... Um, uh, we did at a much lower rate mm. so it was very appealing to the customer mm. and it also uh, got them on board so that then we could talk about that and no we we didn't get half a million pound track revenue in a month for them mm. but we helped them grow their audience online we helped them uh, you know grow an email list and get uh, traffic to their website so mm. that small win then helped yeah. us to get the next client which we had more experience and help mm. get the next one so even if you sell product, you know, send your product out to people to test mm. and actually get feedback from. And you, yeah. you can then say, oh, you know, 20 people have mm. said this about the product. Yeah. That's evidence. And this, you know, we, this, this client that we tracked half a million pounds of sales for in the first month, they're obviously using this marketing with proof rather than promises. On their ads, we've got things of saying 20,000 happy customers because they had 20,000 five-star ratings Mm. that's proof that's not saying honestly our our products are good that's saying 20,000 people have Mm. rated our products five stars out of five so they're proving you know and they're and so yeah yeah I think Mm. do whatever you can to market with proof rather than promise It's, Um, it's funny when we when we first started out one of the things I think uh well both of us but I'm gonna say it was you mainly you thought a great way to to give proof that you were um, you could deliver results was by wearing a suit. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it's, it's all pros. <laughs> Turn up in a t-shirt. Get out, mate. Of course you. Of course you. Uh, wait a minute. I'll just put my suit on. <laughs> yeah. Come back in. I expect them to go. All oh, right, you can get these results. <laughs> right. You've got a suit on. Sorry, though. I didn't realise. <laughs> great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've spoken about that before but I think that it is that thing of and by the way wear a suit if you like wearing a suit that's great but but for me it was certainly god I've got no proof that I can do anything good so I'm gonna do my best to convince them by how I look yeah which I I think that is a logical approach like you certainly if you didn't have any proof wouldn't go dressed casual would you like use everything you possibly can think okay how can I convince them that I'm worth working with now Uh, now I uh, as you can see viewers on YouTube and social media I wear clothes to actively make people think I don't know what I'm talking about Um, I still I used to I didn't love it but when listening to in the early days you like speaking to people trying to explain what we do <laughs> but it's not your skill set anyway but when <laughs> oh i found it so well, so what do you question, do what do you do uh, i think probably for three years i couldn't answer that question uh, well, the video uh, mm, uh marketing dan yeah i'll take this one yeah <laughs> okay I've, I've done my best to put them off try and turn this one around <laughs> Oh, that is, is, it's good we've got different skill sets though. Yeah. So I want to set you a bit of a challenge. Okay. And you don't know what this is going to be, but um, I think you're going to be quite good at this. So uh, we're talking- Oh, you, you're really setting me up for a fail here. <laughs> you don't know what this is and I think you'll be good. <laughs> oh, great. So um, we've been talking about um, sharing the results, mm-hmm. uh, uh, sharing the results you achieve to help sell more product. I think everyone that's listening to this, if, you, if you're part of a business, your action is to do more of that because it's going to help you. Mm-hmm. But I want to give them some inspiration and I want you to live now show them how you do it through the creative output of a radio ad for some businesses that I'm going <laughs> to tell you. A radio ad? Yeah. 
So okay. what I want you to do, I'm, I'm not. This isn't. This isn't going to trick you or anything. It's well, just, it is tricking me. It's <laughs> just set me up a challenge to do You're, a radio ad well, live. We'll see on, how this goes. It could okay. completely flop. But right. I'm going to tell you um, a product or a type of company, mm-hmm. and on the spot. I want you to come up with a radio ad, mm-hmm. and the only thing I want you to do to, to to fit this all in, I just want you to in the ad try and include some kind of results to to show okay. the results it achieves. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Good. Um. So the first one, we'll take this slow. The first. Um, <laughs> the, mean, we'll take this slow. The first product I want you to mm. talk about is an alcoholic drink brand. So it could be anything. It could be a pint of beer, or it could mm-hmm. be the new wine that's out or the new whatever i want you to create a radio ad showing the results it helps you achieve okay <laughs> cool. you get it yeah okay right shall we you ready yeah okay cool um alcohol drink <laughs> <laughs> no you got to do your radio voice uh, well that's not my radio voice isn't an ad well it sounds like an ad though so you so what you actually want me to do you're trying to set me up to do uh, sound like a radio presenter talking about a product, which makes no sense. Okay, yeah, you, is that what you, you want me to do? You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Forget your troubles with Get Fudged Special Brew. <laughs> Proven by experts to make you forget your troubles. And to prove that this works, I'm going to use some social proof, which is a great uh, marketing technique. Okay, just listen to one of our customers. Uh, sir, how has this helped you forget your troubles? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Get fudge special brew. Forget your troubles. So you see what we did there? We used we used a genuine <laughs> customer, and we proved that it helped them forget their troubles. You see, that, that was really good. So that was, you know I, that was social proof. We you know proved. The I genuinely works. like you gave the evidence of an an actual. We actually use this with with brands we work with. Mm. You show a customer what it does to them. Obviously, mm. cool. Well done. Yeah. Oh, no. Get back under the table. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Um, one more. Mm-hmm. What about a uh, mustache oil company? A mustache oil company. Mm. Okay. I'm trying to think what mustache oil does. What, yeah. What's it supposed to do? What, 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 I always think that it it doesn't it just make your beard or mustache look oily, and which is a bit kind of. I don't know if you want that. Want the creep look? <laughs> this mustache oil will make you look the creepiest you've ever looked. Here's before. Oh, no, it's radio. <laughs> Imagine a slightly creepy Lloyd Knowlton. Before. <laughs> and after using the creepy oil look, he's got women running a mile. See, <laughs> proof that the product works. I like it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I think the hard thing with us saying that, what we have to do in our agency, Dan, is actually, actually find plan? out what, what it's supposed to do. Because <laughs> yes. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to. Do. Is it oil? Mustache oil? Does it kind of make it look is less it like shiny? But then yeah. you, <laughs> it's like getting, you wouldn't put oil in your hair, would you? Unless you want. Well, oh, no. there's. Is it, is it a bit like wet look gel? When in like the nineties, that was. A, I remember you used to put so much wet look gel in your hair, it would like I, crack. I, I, it was I so hard. It would. My, I used to change my hairstyles. I had, you know, those curly brushes. Yeah. You get like a pot of kind of luminous blue see-through gel. Yeah. You'd scoot your hand in it, wipe it all over, brush it forward, and then use the curly. A brush to curl a, a quiff over so nice. it looked like a wave oh, and yeah. then it went really rock hard <laughs> I remember the pictures of you at school how did that ever look good? Yeah. yeah and then David Beckham had a, a Mohican in one of the World Cups and then everyone yeah. had a Mohican so I had a Mohican yeah so I then I then brush it centre and up yeah the opposite of a centre parting <laughs> yeah I all mean, into the middle it must have looked mental yeah well, yeah, so you thought that looked, that wet look looked cool at that point. <laughs> yeah. So I would have invested if I so had that. That's fair. If, if you want your beard or moustache to be shiny, fair enough. Yeah. Um, but just, good, that, that was, that's a good practical mm, approach. It just to... makes you look like you've been knee-deep into a KFC bargain bucket. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Thanks for that, Lloyd. I know that uh, you weren't expecting that. I was putting you a bit under pressure, but it gets the point across of trying to show evidence of results. I yeah. mean, yeah. Nice. Okay, so remember, guys, market with proof, not promises. Don't make your facial hair shiny. Any uh, any other key takeaways for today's uh, podcast? I think that's that's the most yeah, important that's, stuff. Covered. That's it, I think. Yeah, yeah cool. I'll do that. Well, thank you for listening, guys. If you found this useful or have managed to brighten up your day in any way, 
then um, give us a shout out online somewhere because that, that helps us get in front of mm. more get in front of more ears <laughs> get in more ears uh, get <laughs> get uh, you don't you want to get to the side of ears don't you rather in front of them yeah because then they'd be in that little mm. flappy bit of skin this, this, <laughs> this outro has gone downhill <laughs> thanks guys see you next week <laughs>